Hello and welcome back to part 14. Welcome back to the Mountain of Doom! Yes, we're going to be picking up another Gold Skull Tula. Um, and I think the biggest bomb bag as well. Yep. Now, here's the thing about getting the biggest bomb bag. You have to stop that gigantic dude from rolling around. But you have to stop him inside the tunnel here as well. You can't stop him anywhere else, because I actually did once, and he was just like, Screw you! And kept on rolling. Hey, what about Matt? But if you get hit by him, you'll get hurt, so you need to also be careful of that. And you need to time it pretty carefully. But oh. once you do it... Holy shit. He is... What much. kind of angle is that? I don't know. But you get the biggest bomb bag, which lets you carry up to 40 bombs. And yes, that is a lot of bombs. Yes, it is. Anyway. Into the cauldron! Yeah. Or in, the pot. In that p cauldron, or pot, or whatever it is, is a heart piece. What you need to do is you need to throw bombs in it. And I'm really not sure how to time this, but it needs to land on that happy face. Uh, and then you get uh, the piece of heart. But I just don't know how to time it, so I can do that. But I managed to get it the first time. I was expecting to have to off-screen it. Convenience. Yeah. Whenever and you, also, you know you have to do something on the side, like sometimes it's always funny when you get it on the first try, you're just like, oh, yeah. okay then. Hey, what do you know? Random stick. I don't suck as much as I do. No. Actually, that random stick was hidden there by a Goron. You can, like, talk to one of them, and he's like, I hit a Deku stick somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I are funny. Yes. Uh, I guess we're not going to go get the uh, Skull Tula. Well, yeah. I know it's there, though. Yeah, well, we'll get it later. But there's also 100 rupees right next to it, and I'd kind of like to get those without wasting any. Right. So. Just one of those things that's like, it's money. We've got to have money. <laughs> Link is a master parkour. Oh god, that'd be awesome if, like, in the next Zelda game you can parkour. You can! Yeah, you can, like, run up a wall and climb it. No, you can actually parkour over things. Yeah, I know. Yes, so... You, yeah, I saw that. You, quest you questioned yourself without already knowing the answer. Well, I forgot. <laughs> Temporarily. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I seriously hope Skyward Sword is good. Zelda just hasn't... It, look, it looks promising. Zelda just hasn't been very good as of late. I haven't played Spirit Tracks, so I can't speak on that, but... From as... what I read, oh my god. Um, from what I've been reading, what people are... Pe what people are saying as from, like, demos and things, it's they've taken the characteristics of Wind Waker... And yeah. fused it with a story plot of something that resembles Ocarina of Time, but with the stylized comparisons of Twilight Princess. I'll admit, I like the art style a lot better than Twilight Princess's art style. Mm. I, I, what I'm afraid of is, if, if are things going to be, like I've said before, squishy? It doesn't look like that kind of cartoony, to be quite honest. Yeah, see, that's what I'm. But see, that's what, kind of what I'm afraid of. Is that at first glance, I, I'm looking at all this, going, okay, it seems vibrant. I got nothing. I have nothing to worry about. Is it? It looks like impressionist painting. Yes. Which that's, which I'm which can totally help it though. I know it. It kind of makes sense. I it think. does really. I mean, I think it's definitely one of the best art styles The Legend of Zelda has had. That and Majora's Mask's art style. Yes. Well, to be honest, I could probably imagine Majora's Mask in that same impressionist art style and it working very well. Oh, I totally want them to. Like how they're remaking... Uh, oh, by the way, this is probably one of the... Not only the funniest things you'll ever get, but probably one of the most convenient at the same time. It's really expensive. It's 50 rupees. Oh no. <laughs> but in this game, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I'm picking up Majora's Mask, aren't I? Yeah. Crap, that's when things were actually worthy. Crap. 
But yeah, but Majora's was, Mask remake on 3DS would be pretty good too. See, that's what. Ah, oh, like if they remade Majora's Mask, like again, I'm I just think of that. I'm like, okay, that would be epic. Because Majora's Mask, I like it a lot more than this game because it's more complete. True, I can totally see that. It has a lot more characterization in it. It's more focused on the story, which, you know, who plays Nintendo games to see the story? But Majora's Mask, it it really knows how to tell a story and multiple stories all at the same time because just of the way it's built, and I like that a lot more than Ocarina of Time, which is just go here, go there. Ooh. See, in the in the beginning, I used to favor Ocarina of Time over Majora's Mask, but now that I'm older, I kind of... You know, now and now that I've played both, and now that I've kind of had experience with them both, I would have to say I respect I respect Majora's Mask so much more now. Yeah, but that's pretty much the way the fandom goes nowadays. Oh, which is a sh- It's like they want Twilight. Pr- they want. Ah! God damn it! God damn you! Okay, his music isn't that bad, but seriously. At least with, like, Link's Awakening, he was a lot more mysterious than he was here because he was just like, I know everything and I'm going to tease you. In this, he's just like, yeah, you go here and there and everywhere. Because do you know what, you know what he was supposed to be, like, representation of? Like the oldest stage or something like that. Well, it's not that. I mean, like they they modeled that character after after another character. Yeah. It was it was actually it was it was but the owl Vorigavorium is actually supposed to be a representation of the Cheshire Cat. Holy crap! Now that you think about it, it totally works, doesn't it? My mind just got blown. Like the Cheshire Cat knows a shitload of information. So he's just... he and randomly appears out of nowhere. Yeah, but the Cheshire Cat is more teasing about it. And see, no, originally, I'm saying originally, uh, the owl was supposed to be, like, modeled after that. Here, like, they still have hints of it, but here, they modeled him more as playful. I guess that's the right word to use. Majora's Mask, they have him a lot more, um, confusing, I yes. suppose you would say. He's a lot better done on Majora's Mask. Then again, yes. you only see him twice in that game. That is true. But both times is actually done quite well. Chicken gliding. Hold on, Joe Chicken. <coughs> Excuse me. God blesses you. Yes, indeed. I have to rock. I'm so hungry I could eat one. Uh, Are you going after the heart piece? Yes, yes, I am. Why? They're useful. I know, it's just like, dang. You're really putting this kid to work. Oh, yeah. Whee! Gotcha. Is there a second one coming around the corner? Yep, actually there that's, is. That's the one that I never could get. Seriously? Well, I, no, 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 correction. It's not the fact that I never got it, it's just that, like, all I could do for a long time was just stare at it, going, okay, I'll get you eventually. <laughs> I pretty much knew how to get it the instant I saw it. Ah, oh, whatever. And I was seven. Whatever. Heck, I was probably younger than oh, seven. Oh, well, I, well, I, you have to give, you have to kind of get, you know, give me credit. The first time I ever was introduced to this game, I wasn't technically playing it. Yeah, I was always I was always just kind of watching it. Um, it's ditto. it's whenever it's whenever it, like the group of people who are playing it left the room that I would have a turn. <laughs> ditto here, my friend had his Nintendo sixty four first, and when we, we would go over to his house and you know we'd see him playing it, and then you know when we finally got a Nintendo sixty four, this was actually the first game we got. Came in a bundle pack with it. Not even then, it was just like I was watching my dad play it for the first time. Mm-hmm. And then I finally got to play it. And then I got stuck in the next dungeon. Holy crap, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, just basically play uh, Ocarina songs for these guys, and they give you money. Lots of money, too. They give yeah. you a lot of money. And since there's, you know, two more of them, that's a hundred more rupees. 
Then you just take that money, go over to the guy selling beans, and you just buy more beans, because those beans unlock the path to uh, heart pieces and sculptulas. The thing is, for each bean you buy, the next bean is 10 rupees more expensive until they get up to 100 rupees, so... Just for now. And he's eating them. Nah, he's eating different beans. Okay, I was about to say, oh, I know how this could be a tie-in. Yeah. He's gonna turn into a Deku Shrub. Nom, 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 nom. They see choose his food, damn. Choose it like a freak. I know, that's true. You can plant them in the ground. Really, you don't say. <laughs> I imagine I'm eating like the heavy. Mm. Ah, god damn. <laughs> I hate those things, they're so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I probably shouldn't have the Hylian shield equipped since we don't really need it right now, but oh well. As of this moment, you never know. Basically, I'm just getting more rupees. Oh god, look at the size of that thing. He is huge. And you can actually get two heart pieces off these guys, actually. Yes, you can. I remember that. Yep. Well, that was creepy. His eyes glowed like yellow when he did that. Yeah. Anyway, see you all in part 15. Let's play more music. <laughs>